Good morning. Please join me in standing at this time. Let's pause for a moment of silence. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good Monday morning, Weston Row. We all survived homecoming. The Lions come to Rebel Stadium this Friday. Halloween is only a few days away. All this and more today on K-Rub. Throw me in the landfill. Don't think about the consequences. Throw me in the dirt pit. Don't think about National Honor Society members, the runoff elections results are in. In a close race, Sarah Green will serve as Sergeant in Arms for the Tuscahoma chapter of the National Art Society at Westmore High School. Congratulations, Sarah. Tuesday, October 29th, is Trick or Treat for UNICEF. Key clubbers should come by Ms. Jones' room to sign up. Trick or Treating will start at the band room at 5 o'clock and end at Johnny's on Warren at 7. All key clubbers that worked at the homecoming game should come see Ms. Jones in her room ASAP. Students, flu shots are in at the clinic. Come by the clinic to schedule your flu shots before they run out. They will be giving on a first-come, first-served basis. Attention seniors currently taking ULM dual enrollment courses through ULM should have received a letter from ULM Recruitment and Admissions notifying them that their dual enrollment applications will also serve as their application for, admin for admission to the university for fall 2014. This letter also indicates this application allows them to be considered for ULM institutional scholarships. And no separate scholarship uh, application is needed. If any student has not yet received a letter, he or she should contact ACES Place at 318-342-7777. Again, that number is 318-342-7777. For verification that the, ad that the admission and scholarship application process has been completed. Last week, the science classes participated in Mole Day. Let's take a second to recap with this video. application will be available online November 1st. You must have applied and been accepted to the college to apply for housing. Also, ULM's priority deadline for applying to the college for scholarships is December 16th. Hurry to the career coach's office to get applied today because housing will be considered on a first come first serve basis. Tech's priority deadline for applying for college and scholarships is January 5th, and LSU's priority deadline is November 15th. Don't wait until it's too late to apply. You'll be missing out on a lot of funding for your education. Also, any juniors or seniors interested in engineering, computer science, or construction management, LSU is holding a preview slash shadow day specifically for you. You must apply very soon in order to be considered for this great opportunity. The Fall 2013 College of Engineering Shadow Day will take place Thursday, November 14th. The application deadline for Shadow Day is Friday, November 1st. You must have a 3.0 GPA and a completed application to be considered for participation. The applications can be picked up in the Career Coach's Office and Guidance. Do you like U ULM football? Do you want to get free tickets to a ULM football game? If you are a senior and you have applied to ULM or would like to apply, come by the career coach by November 4th 
to get your name on the list for a ULM ticket voucher for the November 9th home game. Don't wait too late because there are only so many tickets available. Juniors, don't forget for the entire month of October, the graduate shop will be open until 6 p.m. Monday through Thursday to accept your junior ring orders. In sports news, football. This Friday night, Washtenaw comes to play our Rebels. We need everyone to be there and support our team. Also, congratulations to the team on their win in the homecoming game this past weekend. This past Wednesday, the swim team participated in a meet in Shreveport and placed third overall as a team. For the girls team, Tori Sims, Rachel Barr, and Maria Ziegler placed first, second, and fourth in the 50-yard freestyle. Tori and Rachel also placed first and second in the 100-yard freestyle. Maria Ziegler also placed fifth in the 100-yard butterfly. Paige Blaylock placed fourth in the 500-yard freestyle. For the boys team, Philip Rowart qualified for the state time in the 50-yard freestyle with a 25.7 time and placing third overall in the event. Trey Temples placed fourth in the 100-yard butterfly. Great job to all who participated. That's all we had today, Mr. Rowe. Have a great day. And stay classy. Throw me in the water Don't think about the splash I will create Leave me at the altar Knowing all the things you just escaped